What's up, Phaser Network? It is Red Spart HD, and today I am going to be doing another. It's going to be related to last week's, uh, my last week's upload on the Phaser uh, Games channel, which was about anime and why is it such a controversy around people. So I was reading some of the comments, and it seems like some of you changed your mind or could relate. So I was pretty happy that I could talk to and possibly reach someone in that type of form or fashion. But before I talk about what I'm going to be adding on to that that conversation is, uh, you guys are going to be watching a Call of Duty 4 PC zombie uh, little game here. Uh, the zombies I was figuring out run extremely fast, and I get, I don't know, if I was alone I would get swarmed. But, <laughs> but anyways, I was backed up by teammates, and the guns, the pistols were three round bursts, and the f single round uh, weapons were like auto I guess it would be but I really enjoyed it I'm probably gonna go back and play more after this commentary but I thought hey you know what I got a cool gameplay or some type of cool game type and hopefully the phaser network uh, fans would love it you know so I'm gonna be uploading that today this today but adding on to my controversial kind of topic about last week is well July 14th I went to my first ever anime convention it was at Orlando anime day and to be honest with you guys, I was kind of nervous, my first one of course, and I did not know what I would expect. So I had my cousin and one of my really good friends with me at the time, and they're not really anime watchers, and my friend messes with me about watching anime every day, because I watch it, you know, when I wake up, when I eat lunch, when I eat dinner. Not when I go to sleep though. But I, they were kind of taken back with all the cosplay that was going on. You know, uh, we had Halo, we had Master Chief, we had, oh, there were so many people just dressed up and having a good time. You know, we had people from Bleach, Naruto, we had, I had a lot of pictures. I, I, I did not have a cosplay outfit at the time, but we went into the marketplace. It wasn't huge, but it was pretty cool. You know, it was very crowded. It was not, it was about 2,000 square feet from what I was reading online, and it wasn't big because there was a lot of vendors set up, but... I was walking around and I was taken back by how many people or how many females were actually there and they you know they were dressed up and they I talked to like one or two of them and they were anime like from here to hell and I'm like whoa whoa ho hold your horses wait a minute you guys watch anime like that you know I thought I was like the only otaku out there for some reason but the main reason I'm talking about this experience is because Last week I was telling you guys how it's controversial, but after seeing what I saw, a lot of people were, <laughs> well, I was kind of disproven about last week, I guess. The new generation kind of accepts it, so I'm just kind of correcting myself a little bit there, and my friends, they were taken, my cousin and my friend were taken back because, well, again, they're not anime watchers, and they thought it was funny, which brought up in a new topic was if people like to express themselves, why is it funny? You know, it, it, is it is it funny to make fun of someone who dresses up like during Halloween? No, because most of America does that. Um, don't I have no idea what you guys do over in the UK and the other countries, but in America, that's allowed. But that's all it was for the anime convention. It was like a dress-up thing. And I went into the marketplace, and I bought me an Akatsuki robe and Toby's mask for $65. And they didn't want to walk with me. <laughs> the rule is we had to stay together, but they didn't want to walk with me with it on. But I had a fun time with it on. I had a couple people ask for pictures, and yeah, I had someone dress up as Jiraiya Naruto, who had like fake Rasengans, put it to my chest, and act like I was flying back. It was really fun and different. But the people, my friends, they were laughing at me kind of because it was awkward to see me like that. I could understand, but. It was like the con like this is the controversy. If people want to express themselves a little bit different than everyone else, why make fun of them? I mean, you might wear a plain T-shirt and whatnot. Why would you get discriminated if you wear a plain T-shirt, blue jeans, uh, compared to someone that wears a high-quality brand? Why do we put each other in categories of rich, poor, uh, freak, non-freak? I guess it would be. It just it confuses me because apparently. I was considered a uh, a weirdo in their eyes for a little bit. I don't understand why, but I can understand a little bit. But uh, cosplay is very enjoyable. I'll just tell you guys that I had a good time like that. 
I just do not understand why. It just phases me why people do that. And, uh, after discussing it with some other friends, they're like, you know what, it's hard to be unique. And that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Really, it's very important. It's very hard to be yourself. And it's just something that doesn't come easy. I'm not gonna lie. It's hard to tell a girl, hey, I like anime. <laughs> it doesn't go down very well. I'll tell you that. But after seeing about all the girls that liked anime, I'll tell you guys, it's pretty fun. So if you guys were otakus out there and you guys want to go to your first convention but you were nervous like I was, I'll guys give you the heads up and tell you guys to go. Be yourself, be your, be unique. That is the message, and, the, and I hope that this has inspired a couple of you not to make fun of people that are kind of different. I'll probably do another commentary on this topic one more time, which would be kind of like discriminating against what people look like and what people wear. But other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you have, well, uh, please pop that like for the for a little phase of love, and I'm out, guys.